I wouldn't know where to go right now.
Watch it, boy. Don't make any trouble here. We're watching you. Watch. Stand to attention. Later, I wish to sneak. Four legs and a... Don't touch anything here. Shekel Raka, Shekel Bambule. What have you got here then? Pirate, are you? That a problem? Only if you're one of crows, men. But you're not, are you? You can stop and warm yourself if you like. Just don't make any trouble. What are you doing out here? Guarding the prison tower. Prison tower? Yeah, just further back there. I'm holding some malacca. I got picked up by a patrol. Why did you lock him up? Orders. A few days in the clink and they're soon meek as lambs. <laughs> Gets them ready for when we put them to work for us. Speaking of work, you looking to earn a bit of gold? What do you want me to do? I'm starving, but I can't go get some food until my relief gets here. It could be ages yet, 
My belly isn't going to wait that long. So you want me to go get you food? Right, I've got this gold statue. Take it to Tito and swap it for a parcel of meat. Okay, it's a deal. Great. Here's the statue. And don't take too long, all right? I'm famished. Is Ventura here? No. You need to go a little further, into the Temple Valley. Thanks. But if he isn't there, you can follow the trail he leaves when he's in the jungle. What signs? Inquisition scouts leave them to mark out a trail. You can follow the trail if you know what to look for. So what do they look like? <laughs> You'll know them when you see them. Which way is the Temple Valley? Head back to the crossing and take the west path. Ignore the first turn left and go through the rocky arch. Through the rocky arch, got it. Leave the path right after the arch and keep left, then you'll be there. And watch out for Venturo's signs. Hey. Kapushek Kukucho. What happened to you? No need to gloat, Kucho. I know it was my fault. Soon they'll be taking me to the stone camp. What did you do? The Hana went to the Shaganumbi graveyard. But blue coats were there. Why were you going to the graveyard? The Kikichani asked me to find an idol there. I let her down. I threw it away when I saw the blue coats. I must find it, Kucho. Chani sent me. I'm here to set you free. Chani sent you? Well, be happy about it. How do we get you out of here? The key. The guard dropped it in the yard. I'll go look for it. Cannonball sent one of the most persistent pirate captains to the bottom of the ocean. Afterwards, it was seized by the Inquisition and taken on all their major expeditions as a good luck charm. That's worth remembering. Careful, Gucho.
got a nice statue here. Looted it from the Moluccas, did you? Let me see. What will you give me for it? I don't know. What do you think? One package of meat and a hundred gold. <laughs> you want me to deliver them in a flying boat made from moonbeams? No chance. Fifty gold and one package is the best I can do. All right, one package, fifty gold. That's more like it. Deal. Here's your meat. Oh, great. Thanks, mate. Mm, yeah. Pork fillets, sausages, bacon. Worth every bit of gold you're due. Found the key. We're getting you out, and then we're going back to the Shaganumbi. What about the guard? Not a problem. Follow me. Chala, chala. Right, Gucho. We made it out, no problems. Then let's get going before some appear. Not yet. I cannot. Why not? The idol. I have to find it for the Kiki. I threw it away when I saw the blue coats. I must find it. Let's go then. Chihoshi. I will show the way. Definitely. I remember. I'll keep an eye on the blue coats. You look for it. I've got it. Can we go now? Yes. Tawonga Hoshi. Come on.
left a mark here. If I want to find him, I'll need to look for more marks like this. This mark points northwest, so Venturo didn't go to the temple. Careful, Hoshi. Not too close to the temple, it is not safe. Are those warriors with you? Gee, they are the strongest Tonkas. They will attack anyone who gets too close. Crow and Chaka Bakir must not be disturbed. So why the welcoming committee? The ritual has much risk. They could bring down the wrath of the gods. That sounds bad. No time to explain now. Ask Chani later. But we must go. Stay together. Kabuki, they draw near. Thank you, Kucho. All Shaganumi will know of your deeds. Go! Jala Jala! Tufas of the Shaganumi see all. They say you visit the Gucho camp. Once you carry the Gucho thunder stick, you will no longer be welcome here. Tahana's free, just as you wanted. So, you said something about trusting me. Tawonga, you have proved yourself. This will not be easy, pirate. The Shaganumi fear the Tiwa's power. Fear of the Gaio Tiwa drives my father and the Tonkas to follow Crow. We need to speak to your father. He will not listen. Then help me fight Crow. We will fight, but not your foolish way. I have a plan. Any chance you'll tell me what it is? I will tell you, but before I do, I need your word. We can only walk the path together in trust. I don't trust you yet. You know, you really need to work on those trust issues. I will teach you the secrets of voodoo and go with you to the Temple of the Earth. Ah, uh -huh. and the catch is? You will not return to the Guchos and their thunder sticks. You give your word. I understand. I give you my word. We'll fight Crow together. Then I shall trust you. That was easy. For a moment I thought I'd have to offer my blood or cut something off. What about this plan of yours? Magic. Voodoo magic. Very powerful. It will help us stop Crow. Sounds like fun. When do I start? Voodoo magic is the gift of our ancestors. Only Chaka and Kiki are permitted to know its secrets. That is Shaganumbi law. It has always been so. No exceptions for special circumstances? You gave me your word, but you must show respect. 
I will not break Shaganumbi law without the blessing of the ancestors. How do we get the ancestors' blessing, given they're, um, dead? You will call the ancestor Yizakil. This doesn't involve some kind of naked ritual dancing, does it? You just need his idol. I sent Tahana to hide it, to keep it out of the hands of pirates. And what is it we do with his idol if I find it? We take it to the Temple of the Ancestors. I'd never have guessed. The Ancestors themselves made it. Yizakil will appear there. This Yizakil, and he is... He is the protector of the Shaganumbi. He gives us knowledge. He is the one who gave us the secrets of voodoo. I have the Ancestor's idol. Good. We will use it to call the Ancestors. The guard won't let me inside. Samir is the Ancestor's guardian. His strength comes from them. Defeat him and you may enter and avert the god's anger. What do I need to know about him? He will test you, and the ancestors will hear your words. Speak only the truth. They will favor you then, and help you to victory. And if they don't favor me? We will see each other in the temple. Hey, Charlie, what happens if... Oh, Inside that temple of yours. Sheku, good job. Why do you wish to enter the temple? To summon one of your ancestors. Ah, and how do you hope to do that, good job? By using the idol. Mm, I hear no lie in your words. But you will have to get past me first. Then let's fight. As you wish. But first I must know if you are worthy. The ancestors give me the power to know truth when it is spoken, and the strength to defeat all who lie. Tell me, which of the ancestors do you wish to summon? Yizakil. Hmm. Tell me, who are you? I'm an Inquisition spy. Hmm. Tell me, who is your Chaka? Commandant Carlos. Hmm. You speak the truth, but only by defeating me will you be worthy of entry. Now, defend yourself. Hmm.
by the Tiwas. The ancestors are with you. You are worthy. I defeated Samir. Then you have earned the ancestors' favor. We must trust them now. So I guess it's time to meet the family. Use the idol, but be careful. They do not always take kindly to being summoned. Ah, I have returned. Who dares disturb my rest? I do. You, little man. But you are not Chaka. You are not Sharanumi. I'm here with Chani. Or else you would never have been able to call me. You may share our wisdom. What would you know, little man? Um... I will answer three questions and no more. But be warned, little man. My answers may not be what you want to hear. Can you lift the curse on me? You swore an oath, little man. A blood oath? I can do nothing about this. Come on, you must be able to give me some advice. Hmm. Keep away from the sea. I want to learn voodoo. Will you give me your blessing? Why should I bless you? I must stop Crow. Why should I care that one pathetic mortal wants to kill another? Because Crow has the spear of the Titans, the Shihoka Tiwa. He's calling on the wrath of the gods. You want to kill him, mortal? Then gather some strong men around you and attack him. For that, you do not need my blessing. That is all. You have had your three answers. But I'm not finished yet. No. You have used up all your chances. Now, I must return to my rest. Listen up, the Titan Lords have returned. Mara is waging war on all mankind, and you can't be asked to help. Uh, what did you say? I said, and you can't be asked to help. Did you say Mara? Mara? She's taken over the creatures of the sea. Long ago, she made us her slaves. Then drove us all into darkness. If you would battle Mara, little man, then go with Chani. Fight Mara and all who follow her. Does that mean you'll give me your blessing? She. Now, go and learn voodoo. May Yizakil bless you. Here's hoping. But what about your old man? My father acts out of fear. It sickens his spirit. There is nothing we can say that will make him see sense. We could always knock the sense back into him. Pirates think all problems can be solved with fists. Voodoo is better. Then teach me. I'm ready. You need to learn the secret of control. Control of the spirit. Sounds useful. If my father fails to do the right thing himself, I will do it for him. Take control of his spirit? I take him over and speak through him. That is the power of voodoo. So why not just take over Crow then? The Shihoko Tiwa protects his spirit. He cannot be controlled. Our path leads to my father. I'm still not seeing why I need to learn voodoo. To do the magic we need something from Bakir. From his body. Nothing too personal, I hope. Oh no, pirate. 
You must go to him and bring me one of his hairs. On my own? They'll kill me on sight. That is why I will teach you to take control of one of them. As one of them, you can keep any blood from being spilled. Tell me how to work voodoo. Voodoo's first secret is creation. Every spell has precise ingredients. Potion, scepter, doll. Each spell needs its own hazaka. Um, tool? Chi tool. To control a spirit, you need to make a doll. The doll is a symbol of the body. I will teach you how to create such a doll. How do I control them? You have the doll, you see your target, and then you cast the spell. Your spirit will leave your body and take control of your target. When you have control of his spirit, you can speak with his voice. He will move as you command. But you can never force him to use a weapon. Who is my target? The Gucho Jim. He is due to bring a delivery to Crow. No one will notice if he enters the temple. Part of the delivery he's making is an idol. It can help you get to Bakia. Do not take control of Jim until he is ready to make the delivery. How do I make a doll? In any chance we can call them action figures? <sighs> no. Don't worry about the doll yet. Make sure you get hair from Jim and that he makes his delivery. Behold, the sacrificial ground of the ancestors. You can tell a lot about a pirate by his hair. Like what? When you'll next get a drink, for a start. You think so? I really do want to run. No, you're up to something. Some freaky hair pervert, are you? If you give me a hair, I'll give it to Capua and she'll use it to make you a what kind of amulet, eh? A virility amulet. Oh, how's that then? It makes you... Long as a python. Nah. Hear me out about the amulet. 
What kind of amulet, eh? A virility. It makes you big as a donkey. Nah. What? A it hot nah. Here. What? A pr protect hangers. Nah. What? A print? Evil. Nah. Maybe it could be useful. Hang on, I got something in my hair. It may be sticky, but you can have it. That could be anything. Anyway, why are you doing this, pawning off an amulet on me? I just want to see the captain. Wanna join up, eh? Well, you give up this hair fetish, and you get my vote. Might even put in a good word for you with the captain. That's very thoughtful. Provided that amulet does what you says. The shipment is ready. Already? Then better get a move on, eh? Aye, errand boy. I'd move faster with a rum in me. Here's a clump of Jim's hair. Yes, this will be enough. So, making a doll. That sounds like a manly task. The dolls are made by the Kiki. A sacred task, it is not for you. The doll is not enough for the voodoo. You must use the altar. There, you give it eyes and teeth from animals. And you give it a jade stone for the spirit. Then you need to give it something from the target. A drop of blood or a hair will suffice. That's it? Chi, that's it. Stop with. The ancestors gave me their blessing. Then it is decided. The Shaganumbi will teach you voodoo. Hikoko and I will show you. The 
Dolphin Jim is ready. Then you are ready. Stand before him and use it. I'm not a coward like some I could mention. The only reason I ain't killed you is because I want my gold back. The gold you took from me. You'd have done the same if you'd have thought of it first. If I was a cheating weasel, yeah, but I ain't. I know that you buried your gold somewhere on the coast here. Soon as I find out exactly where, you're a dead man. You got me, Jim. You got some balls showing your face round here again. Rum rotted your brain and you forgot you still owe me. Well, no gold means no rum. Understand? Business good then? Good enough. Especially now I got myself a nice new little sideline. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd ever have reason to feel grateful to them spear chuckers? Spent a few days going round the island. Very profitable little trip, so it was. Sold them lots of rum, did you? Rum? Waste of good booze giving it to spear chuckers. Nah. See, when they bury their dead, they stick all Grandpa's gold trinkets in there with him. So what do we do? I come along afterwards and dig it all up. What did you find? A few nice bits of Savage's jewellery. Those Inquisition bastards got most of the rest. But still, it paid off. Each of us got a tidy little sum out of it. How much do I owe you again? Can't remember your own debts, you really are a useless wanker. We'll call it 100 for all the grief you've given me. And you don't even get a sniff of rum until I get what's owed to me. I don't have enough gold. Any chance we could make some other kind of deal on this? Not a chance, mate. Either pay up or bugger off, got it? I need time to get that much together. You better be fast then. Very popular, my rum. I'm looking for Crow. Uh-uh. And what's that got to do with me? Uh, you know where he is? At the sanctuary, that's all I know. Ask Ben if you want to know more. Jim, me drunken old ale snatcher. Oh, sorry, sail patcher. How's it going in the village? I got the stuff. Good. Leave the food with me. Take the idol to the captain in the sanctuary. If they let you in, that is. Why? The captain's been closeted there with the chieftain these last few days. They ain't shown their mugs a moment since. So, how do I get inside the sanctuary? You doesn't. Floyd's making sure no one gets in. Who else is here? Apart from them savages the chieftain brought with him. Just Digger and Skinner. Neither of whom thinks much of you, me rum chugging chum. What's Skinner's beef? Skinner? Oh, he's only got problems with those that shortchange Digger. Oh, right. Them that shortchange Digger, he gets to skinning. So settle your bill sharpish if you don't want to get scalped. What's Digger's problem? Digger? He's only got issues with drinkers who don't settle their debts. Debts? Rum ain't cheap, 
You should know that, you dirty old grog guzzler. Ain't my fault the Malacca job's not turning a profit. Tell me about Floyd. That airy great weevil's old. <laughs> Since Crow took a shine to him, he thinks he can play the big man. Oh, but we'll take him down a peg once we're back at sea, don't you worry. What's that I smell? Piss and vomit? What are you doing here, fuckface? I've got an idol for the chieftain. Yeah? Leave it here, and I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? I want to give it to him myself. Then you're shit out of luck, aren't you? No one's allowed in. Do yourself a... This how you trade an old mate? Since when were we mates? Piss off, deadbeat! Do yourself... What's your problem? What's my problem? Where you want me to start? You nicked my fucking gold? You always help yourself to my fucking rum? You're the biggest fucking scrounger and loser I know! Can't I make it up to you? Sure you can, for the right price. What do you want? Uh, more than you've got. But you can get something for me. Then I guess we might be even. What can I get for you? You know Ben, right? Him and his crew have been here for a few days. Seems like they've been out on a bit of a grave robbing expedition. Round the Malacca burial sites. What I hear, it was a nice little earner for all of them. And you want me to nick their loot for you? You suddenly developed a fucking conscience about nicking stuff from your mates? Hey, maybe I've changed. Bollocks. Once a thieving pisshead, always a thieving pisshead. Everyone knows what a good pickpocket you are. Shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on the loot. Who's in Ben's crew? Ben, of course. And Digger and Skinner. I hear they're all big mates of yours. So you'd better not let them catch you, eh? All right, I'll do it. And then you let me into the sanctuary. You just fucking worry about bringing me that loot. You do that, I let you in. I've got a nasty feeling, and it end a hangover. Yeah, something's up, and I don't know what. Don't even think about it, matey. I ain't some dim-witted malucker with pockets right for picking. I know your game now. I ain't gonna get burned by you twice. So, uh, about that rum? You want it? You gotta pay for it. I know that. Yeah? Tell that to your mate Skinner. You taking his colour spoils is one thing. But nicking all his rum, too. That's just fucking wrong, that is. You let me worry about Skinner. Piss off, Jim. Hello there. Shekel. Dirty bugger, mind your language. How you doing, big fella? Capo Gucho. Right, um, I'd get down to the apothecary and get that scene to if I were you. Hello there! Capo Cucho. Blimey, that right? Sheku? Oh, three times in one night, you lucky bastard! I don't have enough gold. I'm 
done talking. Do you? Listen, I'm really sorry. Can't we just be mates again? After what you did, piss off. Well, don't say I didn't try. Do you? I want to... Well, he's with the chief... Here's your gold. You're paying me? Bloody hell, I don't believe it. Nick something shiny from the spear chuckers, did ya? All right then. What do you need? Then me think, uh, uh, how about some rum? It's 50 a bottle. Special price just for a scroungy bastard like you. And I need paying up front. No more credit for you, arsewipe. House rules. You don't like them? You can fuck right off. Charming. Give me a bottle. There you go. No hard feelings. Let me buy you a drink. Yeah, that's the least you can do. Been drinking on my money long enough. Now piss off out of here. Do yourself a fa- Here's your loot. Sweet. But it won't- Reckon they'll be coming look- That's my problem. You got- Sure. The ritual starts now. Kapusheko pirate. What do you want from me? I've brought you the idol from the camp. Ah, so the Kiki have finished it. It will protect the Tonka. Give the Tonka strength. How does it work, this idol of yours? Voodoo. The Shaganumbi are steeped in voodoo. The ancestors have passed down to us its secrets. Ways to fortune and healing. Ways to pain and death, too. Tell me more about voodoo. You are an outsider. It is better that you do not know our secrets. I have said too much already. The ritual starts now. Crow, no, we must wait for the delivery. We need the idol. The Shioko Tiwa is ready, that's all we need. Oh no, the stars are not aligned yet. It's too soon. Stars, idol, time, none of it matters now. I have the power, no more waiting. Don't even try and stop me, you know you can't. Drowned in a rum barrel? Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. No, maybe I should find another barrel. That'll sort me out. <laughs> 